Hello. So in the previous video, I told you that all of the sounds that you know from English and Arabic are made using pulmonic aggressive airstream, meaning they're made with the air coming out of the lungs. So we make the um, area in the lungs smaller, and that means that the pressure is higher and the air comes out. And as it passes through the vocal tract, we create sounds. Um, but I also mentioned that you could make sounds using ingressive airstream, that is the air coming inside the lungs. When we expand the lungs and then the air from the higher pressure area outside rushes in. So if you try to do that, it will sound like this. <gasps> okay, so the pulmonic aggressive airstream will be ah, but ingressive will be ah. And um, of course, you know this is the sound that we make um, to when we are surprised or shocked. <gasps> But um, we don't use that for speech. We don't use it for speech. And no language that we know uses pulmonic ingressive airstream. So they're only used um, these sounds paralinguistically, meaning they have a meaning like shock or surprise, but um, they're not used for language. However, there are other types of airstream used for language. Um, so other than using your lungs to make the air come in or out, uh, you could also use other areas. Uh, wherever you manage to squeeze the area to change the pressure, you can create a movement of air coming out or in. And so one such area um, is around the glottis. So we can use the glottis, we can use the larynx to change the pressure and to make the air go in or out. And those sounds that use glottis for this purpose are called glottalic. So pulmonic sounds use the lungs to make the air go in or out. And the glottalic sounds use the glottis to make the air go in or out. So the first type of sounds that are made using glottalic airstream are ejectives. So in ejectives, what happens is you close the vocal folds, you close the glottis, and what it does is that the air is trapped in this area. And um, when you do that, you can change the pressure of the air by moving your glottis a little bit. So when you compress the air between the glottis and wherever else the constriction is in the vocal tract, and then you open it, the air will come out because you have created an area of higher pressure. So here is a diagram of what it looks like. So you see here, the tongue is touching the velum, and here, the glottis is closed. So the air is trapped in this area between the glottis and the constriction between the uh, tongue and the velum. Now what happens if you move the glottis up is that it squeezes the air in here and it becomes a higher pressure area. And then finally you open this constriction, so you lower the tongue and all of this squeezed air will come out instantly because 
there is lower pressure outside. Okay, so you block the air between the glottis and some constriction in your mouth. Then you move the glottis up to squeeze the air in. And when you open your mouth, the air will instantly come out because we know that the air molecules will always go from the area of higher pressure to the area of lower pressure. So all adjectives have to be voiceless because voicing is created with vocal folds and everything here happens above vocal folds. The air never goes between the vocal folds. First, it is trapped here above the vocal folds and then it comes out. Uh, they also cannot be nasal, but they can be stops, fricatives or affricates. Any um, type of sound. And the phonetic symbol for adjective is to put an apostrophe after the relevant symbol for the vocal tract gesture. So if we are trapping the air between the glottis and the velum, that's going to be a velar adjective. If we trap it between the glottis and our lips, that's a labial adjective. And adjectives are not used in English or Arabic, but they are used in um, other languages, especially in Africa and um, in the Americas, in the native languages of the Americas, um, where these sounds are used to create a meaning difference. So there is a difference between a regular bilabial stop and an adjective bilabial stop. So those are glottalic sounds with the air coming out, but we can also make glottalic sounds with the air coming in. And these are called implosives. So implosives are basically the opposite to adjectives. Again, you trap the air between the glottis and another constriction in the vocal tract, but instead of moving the glottis up, you move the glottis down. So what happens is that the air pressure is lowered. The area is bigger, and so there's lower air pressure. And so when you open your mouth, all of the air from outside is going to come in because now there is higher pressure outside than inside. So it's the same mechanism but it works in the opposite direction and it makes the air comes in. So implosives are ingressive sounds. And implosives, unlike adjectives, can be voiced um, because after the air comes in, it can go through the vocal folds. And in fact, they are almost always voiced for that reason. They also cannot be nasal, just like adjectives. And they can only be stops. And the phonetic symbol for these sounds uh, is a little hook on the symbol. So, for example, you can see here um, the B with a little hook or D with a little hook. Uh, that means it's the implosive with this type of um, oral closure, for example, bilabial or alveolar. So, adjectives and implosives are the two types of sounds made with uh, glottalic airstream. Ejectives are made with glottalic aggressive airstream, air coming out, and implosives are made uh, with glottalic ingressive airstream, the air coming in. And we make that difference for both sounds, for both types of sounds, um, 
we trap the air between the larynx and the, and the oral closure. But for ejectives, we then squeeze the air in that area. And for implosives, we extend that area. And you will find in the description of this video, the links to videos showing what exactly is happening um, in the vocal tract as you produce an ejective or an implosive. And you can also hear these sounds being produced. So listen to them before watching the next video.